<laughs> Welcome to Harvard. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. Today I'm at Harvard visiting my friend Elle, and I guess maybe introduce yourself, and specifically today we're going to be talking about the entrepreneurship resources that are available at universities like Harvard and Berkeley. Perfect, so um, hi everyone, my name is Ariel. Uh, I also go by Elle. I study computer science engineering here at Harvard with a citation in business Mandarin Chinese. Um, and I have a company here called Stratiax that allows users to be able to automate their trading strategies from their mobile phones. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm not sure if you knew about startup resources at college campuses before coming into college, but um, this is something that specifically I didn't know about. So basically, as a college student, you have access to resources where you can like, take an idea that you have, basically what you did, and then build a team and uh, create a company out of it. Yeah. So could you talk a little bit about that process? Did you know about the resources on campus before coming? And then how did you come up with your idea? And what have you done since that stage in the process? Yeah, so um, for me personally, before I came to Harvard, I didn't know that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I just knew that I liked creating things. I didn't really know how to manifest that, and it's in and of itself, though, but uh, that also led me to study computer science, right? Um, and so, in general, I, when I first came here, didn't know, and I found out from a few friends that had actually had a startup here, um, that they were working a lot at the iLab, and Which I Which is the innovation lab. Yeah, the innovation lab here at Harvard. Um, and I decided that, oh, if I, I would just go to maybe a few talks here and there and listen to some entrepreneurs. I also came to a couple of demo days here on behalf of some friends to see some projects. Um, and I never really took it that seriously until I finally had an idea of my own and I started coding out my own project, um, and which is where we are today, right? And so from there, I started coming to the iLab a ton. <laughs> I also decided to take uh, Engineering 95, which is the, basically the engineering startup class here at Harvard that allows you to be able to basically get class credit for working and uh, developing and doing R&D on your, on your startup. So yeah, it's been an interesting experience and I think that a lot of school, I'm very fortunate that my school has this as a solid hub and a resource that we can come to. Cool. Um, I guess the next question that I had is what types of resources are available? Is it mainly uh, monetary resources? Obviously there's this space. Um, are there any entrepreneurs in residence that can help you out with your project idea, especially because you said you're a first-time entrepreneur, and for me, I have not yet started a company, so I would probably need some extra guidance. For sure. So, um, in terms of uh, entrepreneurs in residence here, they do exist, uh, but you have to be part of the venture, like, VIP program here, essentially. Like, Harvard's um, Innovation Lab is kind of structured in a sense to where there's students that uh, basically get funding from the president, um, their students that, 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 that cohort of students is then pulled from the students that are considered VIPs, which apply essentially for Harvard's incubator program. It's kind of like an accelerator, but not really. Um, and uh, then there's just the general Harvard class where anyone can actually come in and take advantage of some resources, but mm -hmm. some of them, they kind of get pulled off and closed off as you get deeper and deeper into, obviously, these different um, cupboards, if you will, uh, of, the, of the community. So just speaking from, I guess, that standpoint, everyone has access to resources, but it just varies. So money, yes, space, uh, yeah, um, entrepreneurs in residence, the people at VAP, and then in terms of mentors, though, and some other people that are uh, professionals in the space that were kind of hired here, because there's a full-time staff here also that manages the lab, so it's not just you don't have just mindless people working and filling up the kitchen. No, like people that are filling up the kitchen are actually people who have had businesses that they've sold and exited out of and or have degrees and MBAs that, that they just kind of decided to add snacks in the room and, and have tea for everyone because they wanted that habit. Um, so everything and everyone here is hired to help That's build awesome. startups. We appreciate the tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess the next question that I had is, 
is this something that's available to undergrads? I know at Berkeley we have a variety of different resources. We have a startup incubator program called Skydeck, and they also invest a lot of money into startups that are affiliated with the UC Berkeley University. We also have smaller different types of pre-seed and seed stage investment type arms, but those are available to anyone within the Berkeley ecosystem. So I'm wondering, is that the same here? Or do you have to be, let's say, a graduate student at Harvard Business School, which is right down the street, to take advantage of these resources? Yeah, HBS is like actually like a, like a one second walk away. Yeah, we, <laughs> walking we passed outside. it on the way here. Walking like one second outside of the door, you're at, you're basically in the, in the yard of, of, uh, of um, Harvard Business School. But aside from that, um, anyone can take advantage of it. Anyone that's a graduate student, a Harvard Business School student, students that are undergrads, the school design, anyone with a valid Harvard ID has the ability to swipe into the space. It's just then from then onward, if you have access to things like mentors and obviously capital under Harvard's name, that's that's like different. But in terms of the space, yeah, anyone's allowed here. So that's pretty exciting. Anyone who is considering, I guess, what universities to go to should probably look into what resources there are for entrepreneurship. And my final question is, for those people that are considering where to go to school or potentially even graduate school, what advice do you have for them if they're considering starting a company? Because you mentioned that you started a company and you even have raised some money. So I guess for the people out there that are trying to get on that journey, what, what advice do you have for them? Yeah, of course. This is also just kind of based off of my mentality and dogma as a person. I think that picking a school for what, what it can do for you holistically is important. I think that, of course, we're like Harvard's known for having a solid business program, like where we're known to, to have pretty good programs in general in whatever XYZ area. In terms of being able to, I guess, pick a school, I think that Harvard overall is, is pretty, pretty good. But there are also other programs that I think are extremely valuable. All right, thank you, Elle. That's the last question that I have. Wanted to thank everyone for tuning in. If you have any questions, drop them below and make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn that subscribe. notification bell on for future updates. Thank you.